the Strike Force World Heavyweight Champion, known as the Demolition Man, hey. introducing Alistair. Hey. Referee in charge now to give instructions, Big John McCarthy. Right, come here, Alistair, come here, let's go. Hi, gentlemen, went over the rules in the back. This is for the Strike Force Heavyweight Championship of the World. I want you to fight clean, fight hard, right fair. Obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Step back so we can get it on. <laughs> A little tension there. A lot of tension. So Brett Rogers returns to the site of his greatest triumph when he defeated Andre Orlovsky right here in St. Louis. Different task tonight, though. He takes on the Strike Force world champion, just his size, if not bigger, and maybe stronger. Round right, one scheduled for ready? five. Are you ready? Let's get it on! Both of these warriors predict the fight will end in the first round. They have the stats to back that up. 27 wins inside the opening five minutes for Overeem. For Brett Rogers, eight of his ten victories have come inside the first round. Do not blink. Overeem trying to get close. And they engage. The clinch game is going to be important in this break. It's going to be very important as well as Brett Rogers jamming the power of the big man. I'm not used to seeing Brett back up like this. Oh, also already relying on his kickboxing background. And remember, this guy is a K-1 level kickboxer, holds a win over K-1 bad boy Bader Hari. Like working a smart game here, working on that leg of Rogers. Rogers dropping his hands already. He said the main thing he learned after losing the Fedor was to keep his hands up. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Showing his strength as he just tosses Rogers to the canvas. Overeem. Big right hand by Overeem. Not letting him breathe. Overeem staying right on top of him. This is those 33 more fights he has than Rogers coming into play here. And as proficient a striker as Overeem is, Watch your fingers in 19 face. of his career wins have come via submission, known for a very wonderful guillotine show. <laughs> I bet you it's not comfortable, though. <laughs> By the way, Overeem trying to give himself an early birthday present. He turns 30 on Monday. Overeem, so strong. He uses the elbows. Ooh, very nice. And now the knees. And he's just hanging out in position, beating on the big man. Now he gets him up a lot of to options. the fence. Let's see if Rogers can do what Villasenor did in our earlier bout against Jacare and use that fence. Right, the way he's sitting right now, there's no power. He's got to get his hips on top of that, his feet on top of that cage. He's got to crawl all the way around. Don't let the hand come straight up and down, Alistair. Your referee, Big John McCarthy, can't deliver the 12 to 6 elbow, an illegal elbow strike. Ooh. Yeah, Brett's got to Brett's got to scramble now. Well, here's that, here's that guillotine choke, baby. Rogers trying to cover up. He's in major trouble. He's in big trouble. He got to get his scramble on. And he's got to try to get to a dominant position because this is not where he wants to be. Martin De Jong, one of uh, Overeem's trainers. Also a successful MMA promoter in the Netherlands. And over him playing it pretty safe. He's not working to pass that guard very quickly. He's standing above it trying to strike. He's making slow incremental advances into these positions and damaging Roger the whole time. Well, Roger's got to scramble. He's got to be active. And over him passes the guard without any difficulty. Good job of driving Rogers into the cage. Oh, watch the uh, no. These hooks are landing for Overeem. Oh, a lot of right time. Rogers in trouble. Rogers taking a lot of punishment, not answering. Overeem, the champion, let it fly now. Alistair Overeem, quick work for the champ. The demolition man demolishes Brent Rogers. Alistair Overeem with his.
28th win inside the first round. The champ is here. Two and a half years after becoming Strike Force heavyweight champion, Alistair Overeem returns to the promotion and success.